How to create large scale color marketing posters without a wide format printer or what I call tiling. Okay, first of all you want to bring in a poster that you've been working on and if you don't already have one open, choose file, open and choose the poster. We have a poster here that we used for uh, basically for Halloween for scary books or gothic novels um, last year and so that's what we're going to use as our example. You see it's still a Photoshop file, a PSD file. It has not been flattened for printing or anything because it still has all of its layers here. Uh, so um, basically what this process does is I want to show you uh, how to use your regular 8.5 by 11 format ink or laser printer to create large scale posters or other advertising media for your library. Like I said, I call this tiling. Um, it uses rulers, guides, and grids options in Photoshop CS2 through CS4. And basically what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to choose and print exact, mathematically exact tiles or areas of this poster and then piece them together uh, and, and paste them together seamlessly with some of the materials used in um, sort of the fine art world to make really nice posters or whatever objects or images you're trying to make. So first of all uh, what we want to do is we want to go under Edit Preferences and when we go under there we, we're going to work with the units and rulers and the guides, grids, and slices. So let's first do units and rulers. And now it's asking us about our rulers. We want to set the rulers on inches. And we leave that there. Everything else looks good. Just make sure your ruler says in, say inches. Now uh, we want to set our, uh, choose, sorry, go under view now and show and say show rulers basically when I clicked rulers it shows it now I want to left click my ruler up here with my mouse and pull in the edges of the ruler until it fits exactly on the edge of my scary books poster now you see it's all lined up zeros right here at the edge here and over here I have a perfect ruler system and it's all by inches on the vertical and the horizontal. The next thing I want to do is set my guides and grids. To do this, again, go under Edit, Preferences, Guides, Grids, and Slices. Okay. Now, the, basically the only one you really want to worry with is the one called Grid down here grid. It's You can set the color of your grid line by choosing the color here. I think yellow is going to really show up on our, so I'm going to use it as yellow. You can choose to use dashed lines or dots or solid lines. I want mine dashed. Okay, I'm going to make what I call 8x8 eight eight tiles on this because the maximum width of the paper is 8.5, so I'm going to set my tiles at 8. So I'm going to print 8x8 eight eight tiles. So I've got it at 8 inches. And I want one subdivision. That means at every 8 inches it's going to show another yellow line. So now I hit OK. Now I still have to go under View again up here and say Show Grid. Now you see my lines show up here. Now you see uh, these are my tiles that I'm going to print. Also, I can go up here and kind of tweak my image size a little to make sure that I, I print the least amount of tiles possible. So I'm going under Image, Size. Okay, the size of this poster is 24 inches wide by 30 inches tall. And it's 200 dpi, which is good. Okay, so basically I'm going to be three tiles. 8 times 3 is 24, so I'm going to be 3 tiles across all the way down. So that's a good size. If I wanted to tweak it a little, I could simply tweak it here and change it accordingly. And you see how everything else changes as I change the numbers there. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave it 24 by 30. Now I have my slices uh, or my tiles that I'm going to be using that I'm going to piece together. Now I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee over here. Click it there. And I'm going to set this at 8 by 8. You see, again, here the rectangular marquee's toolbox appears right up here. I'm going to say style. I want it to be fixed because I want it to be exactly 8 by 8. Now I'm changing this from pixels to inches. I say 8 inches. Just type in 8IN on your keyboard. Okay, 8 inches by 8 inches, fixed size. Now I click into my work, and you see these little, these little boxes that are appearing here? I'm just now going to line up my 8x8 eight eight tile with the 8x8 eight eight guidelines and put it right on top of it. And see, if I want to double check and see that I'm exactly on top of it, I can hit view, zoom in, and you see I'm directly on top of it. So that's really good. Now all I have to do to print this tile or selection is go under File, Print, Okay, I want to leave it on center image. I do not do not check this scaled print size, but instead make sure you check print selected area. That's going to only print the tile that we have selected. So and then I just choose print and print. Okay, now it print, uh, and I just do that for each of the tiles and print each of the tiles, and then I will put the tiles together. Okay, for my next tile, I just left click and drag it over, line it up again, and go through the whole print process again. Just keep doing it with each one. Very simple. And now to put these all together, I, well, now next I'm going to collect all my tiles from the printer, and I'll have uh, all these nice exact 8x8 eight eight tiles that are going to be mathematically perfect and all I have to do is just cut them out with my scissors or the cutting board and then what I'll do is I'll make a grid that matches this poster size on foam core board or poster board and uh, then I'm just going to spray the backs of each of my paper tiles that I printed in the printer with, uh, it's a real neat spray they use in the advertising art world or the graphic design world, and it's called Spray Mount, and I think the best, the best one is by 3M. So just uh, spray the back of your tiles with Spray Mount. Be sure to spray them outside because it's very dangerous to breathe. And if you just spray just the side of your tile, you can keep repositioning it and repositioning it uh, until you get it just perfect and it won't have any wrinkles. And it's, it's just a perfect way to have a nice seamless poster, full color poster, without having to have a very large format printer. And so that's how it works.